So let's do uh, one of these problems, uh, determining the rate order. So it says consider the reaction presented um, 2NO gas plus O2 gas goes to 2NO2 gas. Um, collect, collection of the following kinetic, kinetics data um, was shown. Okay, so we got uh, rate data, concentration data. The rate is actually in units of molar per second. Okay, so how do we figure out the rate law? So remember, you guys remember how to do the rate law, write it out at all? Okay. So, going to have to remember that. Rate equals the rate constant times, well, the concentration, and now we got to go back and look at what the reaction equation gives us. Okay, so we see. Um, Nitrogen monoxide here, okay, so that has to go into the rate law. And we're determining the rate orders here. So that's this superscript there, M. Okay, the other reactant is oxygen. So we're going to have to say the molar concentration of oxygen to the N. Okay, so we're determining M and N. That's what we're trying to do. Those are the rate orders. And then it also wants us to determine the rate order of the uh, entire reaction itself. Okay. So how do I do this? Well, I've got to do effectively a couple of problems, um, four specifically. Um, so um, the first problems I have to do is find, well, where does find experiments or do these experiments and then find data where the concentration of one of the reactants changes, but the other reactant stays the same. Okay, so um, for the first set, so for nitrogen monoxide, right, we see experiments two and experiments one where it changes, but oxygen's concentration doesn't change. Do you guys see that? Yes. You guys see that? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. So, um, those would be the ones we would want to use for NO here. Okay, so let's go ahead and write out that part of the problem. Okay. So let's just keep this up there to remind ourselves what we're what we're looking for. So I'm going to just say, and I always like to put the bigger number on top, so we'll have a number in the end that's going to be bigger than one, as opposed to one that's smaller than one. Decimals are harder to work with, okay? Um, so in this case, 0.02 is bigger than 0.01. So I'm going to put rate 2 over rate 1, like that. Is everybody okay with that? So now, so the other thing about these problems is we have to be under the assumption that the um, temperature isn't changing in between any of these experiments or the rate constantly change, okay? So if you remember the Arrhenius equation problem that we did before. So K is going to be constant. So anyways, so K times the concentration of NO, M, so that's K, NO, 1, or in this case 2, sorry, 2, and then O2, 2, N. Okay, so those twos are referring to experiment two. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay, yes. Well. So notice, I didn't put a two underneath the K. Why? Because it's not going to do what? Change. Change, Change right? Who could one? So this would be N, O, what? One. One, very good. And O2, one. Like that. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So all straight away, right, we can see that K is going to cancel out. Everybody's cool with that, I'm sure, right? So let's just cancel that out already. The one thing we should realize is that the concentration of NO cannot cancel out, okay, because there's a change in it. 
Does everybody see that? Okay. So look at the concentration of O2, though, right? It's the same, the same, okay? So if this is the same and this is the same, and the reaction order doesn't change when you change the experiment either, okay? So that's going to be the same as well. Is everybody fine with that? So what we can do effectively is cancel this with this because those two numbers didn't change. Okay, there's a problem with that. Let me know right now. Should be writing this down. If you're not writing this down, I'm going to be looking at you twisted. Okay. Write it down. There's no reason not to. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of reduce our equation to get all this business out of the way. So we've got an equation that looks like this now. Concentration of NO to the M, so the second NO, over NO1 to the M, like that. Everybody's cool with that one, right? That makes sense. If I have M here and M here, I can parentheses and take it out. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Like that. And then, now what am I going to do? I'm going to put 0 0.02 divided by 0.01. And that's what molar, or so molar or whatever. So those units are going to cancel. So in this case, it's going to be, what is that? 2 divided by 1. So it's 2, right? 2 to the m. Okay, so at this point, we don't know what m is. We're going to figure it out. Is there any, have any problems with what we've done so far? Okay, wonderful. So now I'm going to figure out these things here. So we get this from the uh, initial rate data. So look at this, rate, rate, okay? So we're looking at experiment two and experiment one. So experiment two, experiment one. So we'll just say, put it here. This equals, so experiment two, 0 0.20 molar per second divided by 0 0.05 molar per second. Okay. So notice, in this case, there was no superscript, so we don't have to worry about that part. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay. That makes sense? So this, if you reduce that, is going to be what? Four. In your head? Good job. Four. Okay, so four, that equals two to the m. Okay? So we're going to set those two things equal to each other. Like that. Okay. If you can't do that in your head, I can show you how to... We'll do another recording of like how to do that mathematically. But this one you should be able to do in your head if you can't. Just remember, 2 to the what equals 4. That's what we're thinking here. Okay, so 2 to the 2 equals 4, right? Is everybody okay with thinking like that for right now? Right. Usually these problems are pretty straightforward where you can f figure out what that number is. There's a, a lot of, you know, pretty easy, um, I don't know power equations. So in fact, what we found is that m here is going to equal 2. Okay. So the reaction order for nitrogen monoxide is 2. Okay. So I'm going to have to erase that to uh, use that piece of board again. But I'll let you guys take a second to write it down.
carry. Okay. So this time, now that we've found M, what do you guys think we're going to be looking for? And so what do we have to look for here if experimental ones? Ones that what do we what does this have to do? Stay the same or change? If that one stays the same, that one changes, right? So which experiments do that? Three and two. Okay? So we're just gonna set it up like we did last time. Okay, so this is a essentially a rehash of that same problem. Okay? Yes. Oh sorry. Oh yeah, because that one sorry, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. You guys got it. That was a test. Okay. So one and three. Okay. We would have figured it out once we got over there anyway. So anyways, but thanks for catching me, okay? So three and one, right? Which one are we gonna put on the top? Well, let's write out over here what we got. Okay? So we're gonna do rate equals k times n o. And we know m is 2. If you want to put it there, you can. Okay. The concentration of O2 to the n. And then ray k n o 2 concentration O2 n. So now, which one is going to go on top, 3 or 1? Three, right? That's the one that I would prefer to put on top because it's bigger. Okay? So, rate three. K, does that change when we do these reaction ex uh, experimental conditions? No, so we don't have to worry about changing that. Three, three. One, one, one. So, K cancels straight away. NO didn't change. Yep, cancels. Okay, so let's reduce this equation out here. So, concentration of O2, 3 to the N, O2, 1 to the N, like that. And remember when we have N over N, right, like that, we can take it out and do that. Any problems with what we've done so far? Okay, wonderful. So, O23.02 molar divided by 0 0.01 is that right? Molar? I can't see very well. Two and one, right? Okay. So to the N. Cancel, cancel. So what that what's that gonna be? Two to the N, right? Any problems with what we've done over there? No. Okay, wonderful. So let's do our rate three over rate one. So rate three is zero point one zero molar per second divided by 0 0.05 molar per second, like that. Okay. So cancel, cancel. Notice again, no superscript there. So what's 10 divided by 5? 2. Okay, so now we have to set 2 equal to 2 to the n. Okay? Yeah. Very good. That's awesome. <laughs> 2 to the n. Okay, like I said, usually you'll see that these ones are pretty easy to do in your head. Okay? If they're not, then you might have done something weird in your problem. Okay, so like I saw over here, people getting excited saying, 
2 to the n or whatever, that's 1, okay? And you're absolutely right. So the reaction order for um, oxygen in this particular reaction is 1, okay? Is everybody okay with that? Yes. So let's just write n equals 1. Okay, so what have we found? We found the reaction orders for the individual reactants, okay? So I'm going to erase all of this business here that we've been working on. Does everybody got that written down to where I can erase it? Because there's more to do with this problem. Not much, but a little bit more. Because it wanted us to not only tell what the reaction order for the two reactants themselves were, but the reaction order for the reaction itself, okay? So, um, let's just write this down. So, reaction orders. So, for NO, that's going to be M, right? So, that's equals to 2. And for O2, that is N, so that equals 1. So we can actually come back here and figure out, well, what is um, the actual rate law? Okay, so let's write in what M and N are. All we have to do, erase M and put a 2 there. And 1's, um, you don't have to show, okay? They're understood. Is everybody okay with that? So that would be the actual rate law for this. Okay, so I think that was one of the things that asked us to, to figure out what the rate law is. So we figured out the rate law, figured out the reaction order for NO, the reaction order for O2, and it wants us to figure out what the reaction order for the overall reaction is. So overall, that's going to equal 2 plus 1. Okay, so that's all you do is add the 2 M and N up. Okay, so that equals like that. So that's the overall reaction order. And we could probably even do one other thing. Yeah, let's do one other thing. Let's figure out what K is for this reaction. Okay. So we have now data from an experiment, and you can pick any experiment that you want. Let's just pick um, number one here. Okay. So we've got uh, rate data, right? So the initial rate there. We've got the concentration of NO2, and we've got the concentration of O2. So if we rearrange that equation, we can figure out what K is. Does everybody follow what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you got that? Okay, so let's rearrange this equation. So rearrange it on your own and see if you do it the same way I do. So K, so rearrange, guys. K equals the rate um, divided by NO squared O2, like that. And like I said, we're just going to pick one of these reactions. I just picked one because, well, that was just the first one up there. Okay, so the rate is 0 0.05 molar per one second. Um, the concentration of NO is 0 0.01 molar squared, like that. The concentration of O2 is 0 0.01 molar, like that. Okay. Let's figure out what our units are going to be. Okay? 
So this is going to be molar times molar times molar, right? And that's going to be a molar on top, okay? So molar divided by molar cubed, so we're going to have molar squared in the bottom, right? Is everybody okay with that? So molar squared in the bottom, and then also seconds in the bottom, okay? So it's going to be per second per molar squared. Long problem. 